Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Savage Garage. Um, and today, this is the car we're going to be working on. This is my dad's project. He picked it up as an MOT failure. Uh, it's got a few bits that need doing, so I'm here to help him get the mechanical stuff done. Uh, we've got brakes to do. Uh, also on the front here, we have got to do the front sway bar. And also, there's a rubber bushing back here on the control arm, uh, which also needs changing. I think they were both deteriorated. Uh, so we're going to start with the front. Okay, so this is the next thing we'll be changing. This is the front stabilizer link. There we go. You can see how rusty and crusty that was. Rear control arm bushing. That is now what has happened. Uh, we've had to pull the whole subframe out just to get to these. So we can take these two bolts off and that is where the bushing is going to go. You can see the hole. Funny it was all rubber, eh? Yeah, I don't like these. And we've decided not to reuse uh, like the stock bushings, I guess you'd call them. We're actually going to go with some polyurethane bushings. Yeah, so this is our current situation. We have got the control arm bushings uh, mounted back onto the subframe. Uh, these bolts here were torqued down to 165 newton meters, which is, explains why they were so difficult to get off. Uh, so they're really tight, they're on there. Bushings, uh, made a bit of a mess here. The next thing we're gonna do is put the subframe back onto the car. The whole reason we took the subframe off um, was to get at these bolts. Uh, so now they're back on. We're gonna put the subframe back on the car uh, and then we can start reassembling all the other bits and pieces we need to do. Okay, so another quick little update of where we are now. Uh, the last thing you would have saw was the subframe on the floor here, uh, but we have now managed to get it up in place and it's back and bolted completely up. My dad's just torqued all the bolts down to 100 new meters. And you can see, uh, it was a bit of a tricky task, you know, kind of there's a few things that you have to get in the right place before you can start bolting things up, uh, but we managed it. Good to have two people here to get it up there. So the next step is to start rebuilding each corner. So we've got obviously new parts, we've got the anti-roll bar link, new brakes and stuff like that, which will be our next step. Um, I think we can stay out from underneath the car now because I don't think we've got to go under there anymore um, from what I can think. And uh, yeah, I'll film some of putting all this back together, um, maybe time lapse or something so you can see, because you don't need to see me explain it. But yeah, it's going good so far. Okay, so it's time to install our control arm back on. Um, obviously our uh, bushing is already in the control arm mount itself already on the car. Um, and it comes in sort of three parts. So we've got these other two parts here. This is a technically a washer, I think they call it. And then this is the part that's gonna go inside the mount that's already on the car now. Um, and as you can see, it's like a hex shape. And this on the control arm is also a hex shape. And so obviously what you're gonna do is, oh, hang on. This goes on first, the washer. Um, and it would be sort of, what would you call that? Indented? Like that recessed. Yeah, recessed. With the recessed side 
going towards the control arm like so. Um, I think it's so that it misses these welds or something, but anyway, that sits flat like that. And this bit goes with the uh, sticky out bit towards the control arm like so. That's what you end up with, something that looks like that. And then they supply you with some of this uh, assembly grease from Powerflex. Um, so what we're gonna do is just smear a bit of that on the outside of this. And hopefully, we haven't tried this yet, but this should just go straight into the bushing that's on the car. Uh, no troubles, that's the plan. So I'm just gonna stick a bit of this on the outside, it's just like a lithium grease, I suppose. Don't know how much to use, but we'll just go half. Kind of a sort of glue, it's not really very greasy. And then, I'm just going to attempt to push it into There's a 21 millimeter nut, so I'm just going to stick that back on. Okay, so the next thing we're going to tackle is the anti roll bar link. This is what ours looks like. It's sort of straight on one end and a 90 degree on the other. It goes that way up, so this bit's facing the top. And it goes through the strut. There's two, there's two places it could go. There's two holes. But it goes on the rear one, and then it goes through the sway bar, obviously, at the bottom, just here. Um, I'm going to bolt it onto the bottom first, because that's easiest to get to. And then we'll uh, actually main the top first. I feel like I need to feel. Yeah. So for the bottom nut, we've got a 16 millimeter um, for the actual nut, and then we've got a 17 millimeter which is going to sit on the flats on the back of the uh, ball joint. Obviously on that side, 16 millimeter nut, and then just here where my fingertip is, there's a, a flat this side and a flat the other, and you can get a 17 millimeter spanner on that. And it's the same on top, apart from the flat is a 19 millimeter, and not a 17. Bit of a method down here. Mm. I don't think it's going to get much tighter than that. There we go. It's the top one and the anti roll bar link completely finished.
clean spanner and a socket and you can dismantle the whole mix. Yeah. Air ratchet. Mm. <laughs>